Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're doing a slightly different video. It's a place that I've been wanting to come to for a long time. We're finally here at Centre Parks. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out the whole park, check out all the facilities. We'll show you the accommodation we're staying in. This also has a pretty amazing swimming pool and of course some of the wildlife. But before we do that, let's just rewind to last night when we checked in. So arriving here at night makes it a little bit more difficult to find. So I'm going to be staying in the waterfront apartments, which are just here. Let's go and check out what the room is like. It's a nice time actually to arrive as the sun's just gone down. The birds are still tweeting. So let's go in. Got a scammer wristband. So I'm in 67, so that's number one. Going up. First floor. Which way do I go? This way. So I'm in apartment number 67. Well, these are pretty wide hallways and I've just realized I've just walked past it. So I'll be using these a lot, obviously, to get into the swim pool and into your accommodation, so what you do. Oh wow, big nice room. So it's lacking some atmosphere. I can see there is some lamps. Let's switch them on. That's better. It does make the room ever so cozy. But for the purpose of the video, I'll just turn the rest of the lights on just to show you around. So I've got a huge TV, some tea and coffee. Very nice. Oh, so we've only got two tea bags. We've got randomly a wine glass and a flute glass. That's a bit odd. Got a kettle, phone. There's no numbers on there where this is our reception. We've got a mini bar or a mini fridge. Nothing inside it. <laughs> Whole fridge comes out. Somewhere to sit, maybe to have some food or play chess. Look at the size of these wardrobes. Plenty of space. There's also a safe in the bottom. Extra drawer space. Big old wardrobes, Gabby will be happy. Let's do the bed test. Very comfy. Is this a memory foam mattress? Looking forward to sleeping in there. Something else I've noticed. I thought that was a mirror, but that's all open to the other side. That was quite a nice touch actually, which is obviously the bathroom. I love the fact that they've got USB charging and they've also got plug sockets either side. The amount of places I go to only seem to have plug socket one side, so that's nice. And there's loads of extra room. I'm staying here with my little boy, so the only thing I'm a little bit gutted about, we did book this, there's no cot in here. So I guess I'm going to have to try and work that out. So I'll show you this during the day. What kind of view have we got out here? Now I did go for a lake view, but this side, there's no lake. It's obviously around the other side. Oh yeah, there is a light actually. There it is, so that's quite nice actually. Soft lighting because of the animals in the forest. A nice big balcony. Let's check out the bathroom. Odd design, isn't it? But I do kind of like it. <laughs> Just double checking. So we've got huge sink, two big mirrors. Hair dryer that Gabby will be happy with. Because it's self catering, is that reason? I don't know. But there's a tea towel and a sponge if I want to do any cleaning. That's the shower, nice big shower. I love this wood effect. That's quite good. So you can put your products on there, and then just underneath it is the, the controls. Nice heated towel rail, but I guess that's where you can do makeup because there's a stall here where you can sit and if you need to do your makeup. And I guess this must just be the uh, the toilet. I've never seen a lamp like that in a toilet before. Pretty standard, little square sink, toilet. So yeah, that is our apartment, which for the price, which I'll come to at the end, do you think it's worth it? I guess we'll find out, because it's not just the room you're paying for, it's obviously all the facilities on the park as well. Yeah, I'm happy with the room, just got to find somewhere for the baby to go.
Listen to that. Look at that, just waking up. And there's a deer just over there. Well, it is a lovely day for it. So we've got a very busy day plan. We're gonna show you around the resort, but before we do that, I think we need breakfast. We've had to book this, but we're going to breakfast at the Pancake House. So what are the expectations? Apparently it's a centre park's tradition. Really? And, and they hold the record for the tallest pancakes or something stacked in the UK. Yeah, so I'm expecting it to be really American style. Listen to that. As soon as I say listen to that, the birds stop. You can see our apartment literally is just the the there. Yeah, with the baby ring outside. <laughs> the birds are tweeting. The ducks are quacking, Bumps is crying. <laughs> <laughs> this gets so busy that we had to pre-book and the only time we could actually get a booking for two people was the this morning. Let's just hope it's that good of an establishment they cater for non-dairy. Let's hope. So here is the menu. Looking for breakfast. They do do like an all-day breakfast pancake, which looks pretty amazing. Don't know what to go for, there's so much choice. And luckily for Gabby, there is a vegan menu. It's also gluten-free, actually. So we have a cappuccino for me, and Gabby has a black coffee. It's an Americano, and I've also got some soya milk. Not left-handed. So I've got my pancakes, gone for the streaky bacon and maple syrup. I actually thought they were going to be a little bit bigger than that. I've gone for the small stack. Mine's like an all day breakfast with a, so it's like a pancake with a bit of a mush up. So it's got sausage in it. I don't know if you can see, it's like embedded in it. And it's got bacon, mushrooms, and the egg is somewhere in there. And obviously you've got the beans on top. So this is a bit interesting. And some think. really random tomato that's been cut like that. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. I love that savory bacon and the sweet pancakes. It's a bit like sweet and salted popcorn. Really good. I just wish there was more of it. So this cost me seven pounds. The only thing I'm gutted about is there's only literally one bit of streaky bacon on each pancake and it's very thin. I'm going to aim for the mushroom area because I'm a massive mushroom fan. So in this, I'm going to have a bit of pancake, bit of mushroom, some beans and a bit of egg. Try and get a bit on there. It's really good. The mushrooms are really nice. So we've just had pancakes. So how much did it cost? 25 So that cost us £25. Pounds. So we had one cappuccino, one Americano. I had a three stack with basically a, a, one slice of streaky bacon in each pancake. And they were pretty small. So for the money, actually, I thought that was... Uh, it was very expensive. Nice, but expensive. Nice, but expensive. That's the Let's just say this was probably our one and only visit to the pancake house. So we're starting up at the top end of park. I don't know whether to call it a park or a resort. What would you say? Park. Yeah. And there is no one ever really in this area. It's always very quiet. Just where the welcome centre is. I suppose this place is only busy maybe on a checking day. There's some guest services in the middle of the park which we'll go and check out. But let's have a, a quick look at the map. I know the sun's on this. I don't know how well you can see this. But this is our current location just here so you've got all the lodges and all the different parts of accommodation surrounding the big lake and the main area the main village is just here there's also a country club and spa which we'll go and check out let's head down wow can you hear the horses the main bit of advice we would give you if you are going to come and stay at centre parks get one of these you have to book this literally before you arrive and you have to have it for the whole of your stay so you can't like well we've we found you couldn't book one just for one day could yeah, you you can't just go online and then just decide to book a couple of bikes for the day they're like yours for the week yeah which we didn't realize and i did get an email from center park saying book your activities now i wish i'd have done that because we left it to the last minute and then of course have come up against problems but we are going to do a couple of things some of which I can't actually film. So first thing you notice though, is the tranquility, the calmness, the wind rustling. When we first arrived, we saw deers, we saw squirrels literally everywhere. And now I've just died recording. <laughs> we have, there's, there's a pigeon. And you'll notice one thing about the center parks is that there's no cars driving around because only on check-in days are you allowed to bring your car up to your accommodation if you need to. There is a massive car park as we come in. That's where we had to park our car. Because we were a little bit confused because we're staying in these apartments here. And we thought, oh, we can 
park a car just here. And we got a rather interesting note on the car window saying you need to move your car or <laughs> yeah, that's basically what they said. It wasn't harsh at all. When you book, there's a variety of different options of accommodation to choose from. Now we've walked around the park. There's only three of these. These are waterside lodges and they look totally amazing. So these are the apartments that we're staying in. We're on the other side, but here you do get some nice views of the lake. There's some trees there. Before we go into the village, we wanted to show you the beach because there is a beach here, isn't there? There is. You're dressed for the beach today. Do you think? Yeah, I've got a bikini on underneath this coat. Look, there's all these different little places we can go fishing. But you've got to have a permit. Yeah, you do. The first two days we've been here, the weather hasn't been that great. And I knew that today was going to be a good weather day, and especially with the blue sky. I guess it would look more, it did feel more autumnal, didn't it, with the clouds? Yes, but then today feels quite nice with a bit of sunshine and like orangey leaves in the air. Wow, there's people on the zip wire. And this is the beach. I actually didn't know there was a beach at Centre Parks, did you? No, not really the sort of place you'd think there would be one. No. It's not on the coast. And the weirdest thing is, is um, the other day, and I recorded a little bit of footage, there was a deer on the beach being fed by one of these sunbeds. It, it's not something you often see. Perfectly timed as people coming down the zip wire. You can't swim here though, or paddle, which is a little bit of a shame, but I don't think you'd want to. It just messes with your senses a little bit. Ducks and geese on a beach and that smell of muddy pond water. Thank you. So there's adventure golf through here. We haven't paid to go on it, we're just gonna have a look. Perfect day for adventure golf. There's a lot of people playing. It's quite nice, you do it all through the forest. Pirate themed. Not sure if this has anything to do with the miniature golf. It's like a boat. So we're heading to the village square. Everything's really well signposted, including the Starbucks. How many Starbucks are there on this site? Well, I think I counted three, including the one in the swimming pool. How many Starbucks do you know that have fireplaces? Amazing. Shame it's not on at the minute though, but might as well still sit here. I was saying it's it's a shame that the fire is not on, but it's actually really mild today, so we don't need it on, do we? Let's let's cheers. Cheers. It's autumn. Not sponsored by Starbucks. <laughs> love the sounds of the birds. I love the way the trees are just ultra tall as well, like really foresty. <laughs> like they've been designed like that. Yeah, but the thing is, when you're just walking around in everyday life, you don't really see trees this tall. Obviously, you really no. do feel like you're in the heart of the forest. And the you? thing is, with pine trees as well, they get that really nice. I don't know if, if you just stay quiet a sec. You can hear that kind of gentle roar with the wind going through the trees. Yeah, it's relaxing. It is. So you might be able to see that big slide over there, which I'm hoping to go on when we head into the water world. But you'll see bike parks literally scattered all over the site. You see, what Centre Parks is all about is peace, tranquility, exploring the great outdoors. We were just saying that because we're so used to holiday parks with entertainment of the evening, we've, we're finding it a little bit difficult to... Get our heads around. Really. Yeah, the fact that of an evening, you... There are, obviously, in the summer, some... Uh, activities that go later in the evening but most wrap up pretty early this time of year and then it's all about having a walk going out getting some food and enjoying the surroundings so just found this bench it looks quite new in the memory of the members of the centre parks family who are no longer with us something see that's how they value their staff you don't see that very often Percy the Peacock, 98 to 2022. We're now heading into the village square where all the action is, all the shops and the water world, the restaurants. What's happening here? Yeah, nice little waterfall here. 
I've noticed this, there's loads of post boxes around. If you want to send a postcard. In fact, with those flamingos, doesn't that remind you of um, a Vegas hotel, a particular Vegas hotel where they have the flamingos and a waterfall, like the mirage, mirage. yeah. <laughs> A little bit different scale, but it does look nice at night as well, doesn't it? Yeah, nice restaurant. We haven't ate in there yet. It's also got a supermarket on site, which we have been in, um, and it's blooming expensive in there. But I love the fact they've got lights that are through logs, log lights. Pretty special. Yeah, it is the most tidiest supermarket I've ever been in. Yeah, it really is. It's like such a posh supermarket. Tidy, clean, well stocked expensive so you can just see just up there that's where the swimming pool is the water world i love these little rivers that run through look there's a little waterfall going on there all ready for halloween look i mean we would say you definitely need deep pockets but you don't overly if you bring your own food and you've got self-catering accommodation but it depends if you want the full experience if you want the full experience you need deep pockets but if you're happy to come on the cheap you can do it quite cheaply yeah we'll head further down there in a moment let's go into the sports plaza so the entrance to the swimming pool which is what we're going to go and explore in a little bit i think they're doing some work here because this looks like a false wall doesn't it smell that wood you know what I mean, like a mixture between coffee and wood. Oh my god, we've got to just quickly show you in here, look. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is a tree with sweets hanging down. How cool is that? This reminds me of The Wizard of Oz. You know um, on The Wizard of Oz 2 when she gets on, gets the tree and brings down There's a, lunch a Wizard pail. of Oz 2? Return to Oz, it's called. <laughs> and she pulls like a lunch pail down Oh the yeah, tree. It, yeah, it does, Except yeah. this is now the lolly pack. That's really cool. So literally loads of sweets. Okay, wow. There's a whole Bailey's range of chocolates here. Candy canes, lollipops, and something you'll notice a lot of are these. You can buy these in the shop as well. They're selling marshmallows everywhere and sticks and slabs of chocolate so you can literally melt them over your own campfire, which is pretty good. Loads of fudge. So it's like a little shopping area. I've never heard of this brand before. Is it an outdoor brand? Well, it's, it's not just an outdoor brand, but I would say it's for the um, slightly middle-aged person, I would say. And we didn't realize this, but they have swimming shorts for sale. So we turned up and we forgot them. ours, and we drove stupidly all the way into Norwich. And then we walked in here to come swim in, and they have everything that you need for kids, for adults. I think it's because the normal holiday parks we've been to in the past wouldn't usually have things like that. No, and they do towel hire, or they yes. sell beach towels. So the main sports hall look, we keep saying we're going to play badminton, we haven't done it yet. Again, you have to book in for everything whilst you're here. But when the weather's rubbish, you know, it's this, this was pretty busy yesterday when the weather was rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's called, they've got these little crafty rooms for the kids. There is lots of this kind of stuff going on. But I like the way that when you've got some friends or family playing, you've got these seats that you can quite comfortably sit on. There's another craft room over there. How many craft rooms are there? So we had breakfast in here. It was um, very expensive, but we weren't overly big fans, were we? But it's pretty cool. It's a sports bar. So if you like sports, you can really indulge in eating, drinking and watching sport. weird how quiet it is yeah that's weird there's no music oh there's a leak climbing wall does look good it's not Gabby's cup of tea or mine actually but so in here they sometimes have like roller skating and a, a roller skating disco set up at the minute for badminton shame actually I love roller skating Kind of just does feel like a leisure centre, this bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Football pool. Is that something you want to play? It doesn't break the boat, but I can see why some people might like it. Such a huge space. Look, there's a random leather couch. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go and check it out. <laughs> Oh yeah, sit on your favourite leather couch whilst you're enjoying your favourite game of badminton. Oh, and have a nice massage by the way. I'm only doing this for the camera. Even a little bridge.
Oh, and this is the Aqua Sauna, which we'll go and check out. It's literally right up the other end of the park, but it does look pretty amazing. There's an outside swimming pool or an outside plunge pool. They've got a bowling alley. Nice. But this is worth coming up here to have a drink and then overlook the water world. So this is a little area where they do little family discos for the little kids. I was going to say Casper could have his first disco. <laughs> what do you think? That's yeah. pretty cool. With us having a baby, this is pretty cool because when we need to feed him, we can come to these little Ella kitchen stations. Do they actually have the food in here as well then? Well, no, because no. you have to buy it, don't you? Oh, so you can't buy the food here then? No, you can, behind the bar. But then oh, right, I see, okay. There. And then you stick it in the microwave. But I still think it's quite handy to have, especially when you've got young kids. Oh, yeah. One of the main places to come and eat is the plaza, which has basically got Bella Italia, an Indian restaurant, and Cafe Rouge, which we were supposed to have cream tea, but we can't because... Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea, but we can't because of the milk intolerance that... Gabby's got unfortunately. They do have a stage here, but we were saying they don't actually do any entertainment. Yeah. Not really, do they? They uh, occasionally have a, a, yeah. a piano player or something, they said. Well, I would, yeah, I was saying that. Like, I can understand why they don't have like full on entertainment program now, but it'd be really nice if they had like a little acoustic guitar player or a piano player in here. So they have got some American style food. We've eaten in Hux, but we were not impressed at all. I had a burger and it was just not even like a proper. 100% beef burger. Oh, it was really nice. rubbish, wasn't it? We sat on like a rectangle type of table. They moved a chair for Casper to sit next to me, but we wanted him to be between both of us. So we put him like on the end of the table. A waitress went to go past, stood there staring, and I thought she'd got our food. And I said to her, like, um, is there a problem? She went, well, yeah. She said, this is how we get, we need this area to get past. And no. I was like, whoa, like, I can under how are we supposed to know that that's an issue? Anywhere else you go, it isn't. Boathouse is over there, which is where we hire our electric boat from in a little bit. Looking forward to that. Listening to the birds, it makes you feel like it's spring, even though it's autumn. They are getting ready for Christmas with all these lights on all of the posts. So if you are coming here at Christmas, it does look spectacular. One thing we're gutted about is that we haven't got a bike. We I'm just got to walk. Relieved, though. You're relieved because we haven't much, got a bike. Too much energy. <laughs> That's the best thing about it: exploring the park with a bike. There's lots of play parks. So for the little kids, there's a, a mini trek in the forest, which is obviously not very high at all. Are you sure you don't want to do this, Gabby? Literally, we wanted to do this, but we couldn't book it, could we? Because it was it was full every time. You can hear the zip wire going. We've seen these popping up at Haven Parks this year, the drop where there's three different heights that you literally jump off onto the inflatable bag. And then obviously the big one at the top. Yeah, I would do that again, back problems, I can't. You complete the trail all through the forest and then you go through here and then you end up on the zip wire. So you can probably see some people there getting geared up to head on the zip wire all the way across the lake. Oh Someone's about to go. There we go. <laughs> that looks so cool. That little kid looks like Dinky flying in the air. <laughs> Random phone box there. I think that's for emergencies, yeah. And obviously if there is a fire, these are used to hopefully stamp it out. Yeah, a lot of these lodges have their own little barbecues and you would have thought that that's a bit of a, a safety risk being in a forest. Yeah. But some of these have got hot tubs as well. There's some really beautiful lodges. And we're just saying it's probably absolutely amazing when it snows yeah. here. I mean, we're staying in the apartments. I do know that we're unable to use a barbecue for standard reasons. So you just park your bikes right outside. And then the next morning, you're off out on adventures. So we're off on a boat, an electric boat, and we're late. We had a time slot that was booked for quarter past two. We've been, we had, we had another Starbucks basically, and it's yeah. now uh, 25 past two. Our timekeeping is much We've only got 30, you know, we've only got 30 minutes. <laughs> now we've got 15. <laughs> so this has cost us 30 quid for two people. 
We can actually have up to six people in this electric boat. I guess so. Do we check in down here? Electric boat. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I'll mother you, don't worry. Can you just say the only person to wear a buoyancy aid and look super sexy? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cord around your wrist, that's the kill cord. You slide it forwards, it's going to take you forwards, back to the middle is neutral, slide it backwards is backwards. Okay. Boat works opposite, so right's going to go left, left's going to go right. Thank you. <laughs> you ready? If I push I'm this button. I'm nervous because you will drive into it. Hang on. Oh, okay. we're moving. Is that as fast as it goes? I'm flooring it. <laughs> Out onto the open lake we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> this must be the weirdest boat I think I've uh, ever been in. Can I be really cheeky and have a doze? You know what we could have had in here? Bottle of wine. Bottle of wine. You can't drink and drive though. See, this just look, look out the back, just how slow this goes. Look, there's hardly any wake. I'm gonna get up. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this side. <laughs> yeah, this is flooring it. This is as fast as it goes. Wow not a very big lake because we can't go any further than that jetty over there. I thought the lake would be bigger here, did you? Yes. Yeah, I thought there'd be more activities on the water, although there are more activities over there, especially in the summer, but not this time of year. So we've got this for 30 minutes. Why does it remind me of some kind of um, port a cabin toilet? <laughs> like a port -a the, It's Yeah, it's the, material, the plastic material. Reminds me, yeah, the colouring of, of like, um, it's exactly the same material as a portaloo. Really random comment to make, I know. And the colouring. I mean, there are so many activities to do here, you would not get bored. But is this worth £30? But for up to six people, so for two people, it's quite expensive. For six people, so that's £5 each. So one, two, three, four, five, and where I'm sitting, six. But then I guess you're all competing to want to drive the boat. Top tip, you've got to book things in advance. I even got an email from Centre Park like two weeks before we came saying book your activities now. And I didn't think anything of it. And so you get here and go, yeah, I want to try that, try that. And of course it gets booked up very quickly for the days that you're here. So we're in the tropical swimming pool and we've got our little boy. There in a go. He's so excited, isn't he? Yeah, he's really excited. Seeing all the little children, he can't wait. Is this like the hottest swimming pool you've ever been into? I'm, I'm so clammy. Like, we're on the... we're so <laughs> it's not something I want to go around and report, but I'm so clammy in here and I'm like, oh. It is super hot. Yeah. We can't wait to get in. We've yeah. just got an inflatable for him that they're, uh, they're doing over there. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> Don't know. Today we were worried about because we've got towels. We didn't realise that you can actually hire a towel for two pound fifty. In they go. There he is. How are you finding it? It's a bit chilly. Not as chilly as you. Really is. It really is not cold. He's holding my hand. I'm feeling it. Just take me away. You're a big kid. Oh. This is actually moving really quick. This is my kind of vibe. Loving the lazy river. So obviously we've got on the rapids. Now the rapids are really cool because they do actually go outside and it's raining at the moment. So this will be interesting. I don't know whether they're still open. Oh, what's my head? That was quite fun. How fun there he is. I don't think you can see over the edge. <laughs> in the one for 12 months plus <laughs> thinking that we'd get a bit more wear out of it. <laughs> How many Starbucks have they got? About three, but there's one in the pool, like literally just over there. Yeah. Let's they head under the waterfall. There. What do you think of it so far? From what I've seen so far, I think I was expecting something more because of everyone hiking it the way they have. Because I suppose once you've been to the sandcastle in Blackpool, you know, not a lot can beat that, but um, it is really nice still, really nice. So this is the Lagoon Pool. This is actually um, a really warm pool. Oh, lovely. Nice and warm for uh, the baby. Lagoon Pool, this is awesome. Oh, it's it's fine. Fine. It's Casper, do you like the Lagoon Pool? 
I think he likes it. <laughs> I don't know why, but this seems a little bit like salty in this water. Yeah, but the chlorine can sometimes be a bit like that. And the bums is drinking half of it. So I think it's only right to check out the rapids that are supposed to be really good and it's something that I always remember seeing on TV adverts when you come to Centre Parks, these rapids that you go outside and inside, so let's go check it out. So I'm a little bit guided that the cyclone is closed. I've got to show you these. You can actually book out these cabanas inside, look what you get. Big old TV, towels. So lean back and feel the soothing heat. No, maybe it's not working. I can't go So there's a place to go and get some snacks and a drink up here. Are you going to get soap, Gabby? You're going to get soap coming in here. They're going to tip up, but I don't think they are because they're full. Oh, they do. <laughs> Let's go. The bubbles are starting. Oh, the water's going so cold. Woo! There is a cold plunge pool over there. Whoa, these rapids are pretty strong. Oh God! Whoa! Oh God! It's being thrown around everywhere. You know, this is probably so much better at night as well. Trying to look cool in this doesn't work. Here we go. Are you enjoying it, Bumps? He's having a great time, look. Quite the view up here. The tree houses. We've definitely got to go and see them, Gabby, in a minute. So gutted we haven't got a bike. It's perfect on a day like today. See the little squirrel, look. Little squirrel. If I pretend I've got some food, will he come to me? No. <laughs> look at him going up there, wow. There's a squirrel in there. Is he gonna poke his head out? If I keep quiet. Oop. <laughs> so these are the tree houses. They look absolutely amazing personal little bike parks and they're all on stilts it's like something out of a nursery rhyme look at that you can actually go under the house no way is that like a hot tub in the back there that's like another little house there see even all of this is made from proper trees leading up to the tree house itself. This windy path that leads up to it. Do you reckon these are the most expensive places to stay at centre parks? Do let me know in the comments. I'm just saying there's loads of different walks that you could do, like there's a little lake down there that you could go and explore. Do you feel like you're one with nature right now? Yeah, I feel lost in this tranquil nature resort. The lodges are literally spread out everywhere, but we were saying they don't overly look that great, do they? Well, they're, they're nice inside, but... There are some wooden type lodges in other places that look really smart. And then you've got your basic chalet-like lodge. So last meal of the trip, and where are we? The place is called Las Iguanas. Pretty special restaurant because We'll see them in a minute and I'll just show you. They're, the waiters are actually robots that come around and deliver your food. It's so we're so, we're so excited to uh, to get our food this evening. We've been having red wine most nights. We've decided to go for a cocktail. With it being the last night, let's spoil ourselves for having a strawberry daiquiri. Mine's gone already. It's in last two minutes. <laughs> it's because there's so much ice in it, that's why. Have you eaten here before? 
I haven't eaten here, but Blackpool have got one of these restaurants, and me and Tim, Tim doesn't remember, but we have been in there for cocktails. You see one of those robots just up there, look. They've got little funny little faces on them as well when they turn up to your table. What face ours will have? It'll behave like an angry face. Why? Because you're the fussy ones, you want vegan. Is this our food? <laughs> No smiley face on it now. Thank you. Burrito, thank you. Thanks, dude. We say goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get a kiss. They're off. Bella bots off. They've got little ears. Have you seen that? <laughs> There's so many. There's another one coming over there. Look. We'll have to order dessert, Gabby, to get them back. So what have you gone for? Um, I can't even remember the name of this, but it's kind of like, it's a curry and it's got like a bit of coconut in it and some other stuff. It's, it's a little flag. It's very Mexican, apparently. Something, I'm not a big fan of spicy food, but I've gone for burritos with some guacamole. That does look amazing. And I salsa and some, what is that? Jalapeno. That's no, not a jalapeno. Pepper. Oh, I think they're pepper pearls or something. I've never seen those before. Here's a chili. Wow. I dare you to eat that. <laughs> that is the most tiniest bit ever. That is hot. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Feel the burn. Barely breathe, but it was only this little. Someone does not want to go to sleep because there's too much excitement here. <laughs> you don't want to go to sleep, do you? Oh, Thank you. Is that popcorn on there? Yes. Chocolate brownie? I can't remember what the description was, but I was like, yeah, it's vegan, isn't it? <laughs> and I've gone for a, uh, a cheesecake. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Literally just falls away. So we saw these spider webs from downstairs and we thought we've got to come up and I don't think I've ever seen a spider web that big in my life and look at the side oh my god look how many spiders there are and these spiders are huge Gabby and I've just realized that we have our balcony door open wow look at that one in the corner there oh my god I am freaking out have you seen the one in the middle of there yeah look at it look at the one below as well it's huge there's another one there and there. look at that Three there. You said, is this for Halloween? That is the stuff of blooming nightmares. The webs are absolutely per- I don't think I've ever seen a spider's web as big as that in my life. So I must just quickly say this video is not sponsored by Centre Parks. We've had a really nice time, haven't we? We've had a really lovely time. Yeah. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get to Centre Parks. Well, actually I do. I know that one thing about it is it is very expensive when you're here. You can do it on the cheap, but if you want to really embrace all the activities, then yes, it can get very expensive. And to be honest, we are staying in the cheapest accommodation that we found. And we was looking at prices for the same week next year. And I think this apartment is valuable for what 340 quid something like that yeah but the tree houses which i'm really interested in staying in were how much three thousand three hundred and something yikes but that's with how many people they sleep up to eight people i believe that is really embracing the whole forest experience i mean you're in a tree house it's got like your hot tub and it's even got pool tables in there it is sheer luxury so, so. It, it does become affordable if you spread it out with the family these apartments that we have chosen to actually stay in are absolutely beautiful <laughs> they've recently been done up they are absolutely beautiful the only problem we had was our towel rail didn't work so we had to get fresh towels every day that can happen in any accommodation right well yeah when we booked this room i kind of knew it was well i didn't know it was self-catering it was just really what i thought would just be an apartment that would get serviced and the the whole time that you're here the the cleaners don't come in you have to empty your own bins you have to make your own bed um i think you can ask for new bedding if you want but the, the weirdest thing was when i we walked in as you know we like our tea and coffee in the room we saw two tea bags and we're like oh great Oh, so we, two. we thought they supplied, which they don't. It does feel like a hotel buy, but it is self-catering apartments. There's no kitchen unit, and so you do need to wash your cups. There are some over the other side of the park, which look just like this, but also have a kitchen unit in them too. Do you know what I really like the best about centre parks? And um, Most people would say it would be the swimming pool, and yes, the swimming pool is really good fun.
fun, it's great. But my favourite thing is just the chilled out walking around. It's just those simple things, just walking around, um, walking amongst the trees by the river lake, walking by that. It's just very chilled. It's a great place to come to escape. Eating out here, I would consider as a luxury because it's very expensive as park prices, but we had to do it whilst we're here. But yeah, if obviously you get one of the self catering lodges, you can bring your own food and it just brings the price down a little bit. Because the activities as well as eating out, it can get very expensive. I did think that the standard of food would be incredible with it being centre parks and being quite an expensive place to stay and quite classy. Um, only I did find that in some of the outlets, it wasn't such good quality. It was sheerly like microwave meal type. It wasn't cooked it was a bit fresh. It was just warmed up because you've got allergies and stuff like that. And so, for example, last night I asked if you could remove the beans in the burrito or maybe take out some of the salsa. And they just said, obviously, no, that's how it comes. So obviously, you know, it's actually just so warmed up. If you'd like to see us visit another park, why not drop a comment and let us know if you've been here. If you fancy following the wife, you can follow her on her YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.